Welcome back to the Ambition, or Ambition, rather, part seven. It's a series about werewolves, right? I... They mean... It would make more sense if it were. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My thoughts exactly. Executive producer? All right, so... I... I said I would go back and review the time, but... My seventh grader put together this report for me. <laughs> yeah, and they said the body was discovered at 12 p.m., which I don't know is noon the next day, or they just screwed up midnight. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Ted Loves Bridget bracelet, which is given by Bridget to Ted that was found there. Do you care about this? I don't even know what's what going not on. Not particularly. I'm just wondering why this has been so many parts. Okay, and there's only been certain information released to the media about it right. but it wasn't possible to pretend to leave the apartment steal yell's car now anyway welcome to the Newgrounds new grounds awards knock him dead tiger oh, thanks mary jane <laughs> remember she's ted's wife and whoa yeah. what the hell? <laughs> the of, of the mind of i apologize for my irradiating <laughs> Is that a narwhal? Keep your eyes on your plate. Thank you, Peter, for your introduction and inspiring oh, that speech call out of the for sedation. sedation. <laughs> <laughs> we only laugh if that guy does. <laughs> oh, that was a three out of your five joke. Enemies are Texas. Uh oh, is there political commentary here? Oh, time to break out the big words. Inspiring fear. In fear. The population. A what? nation in fear. Is a nation willing to accept dress? Is this like extreme political commentary, or did he like steal shit from like the Empire in Star Wars? What, what, oh God! Uh, tell and tell and tell. Uh, the car was demolished when it hit a moose. You discovered an interesting fact. I doubt that. <laughs> Least realistic thing of this game so far. <laughs> Let's go around the chain link fence here in jail <laughs> or the police station. Is this oh, a dog kennel or a? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there you are. What's with her face? So are you interested in the truth or acquiring enough evidence to ensure a conviction? Ensure the, con the conviction. <laughs> well, I'm an insurance agent, so. Right, yes. <laughs> I'm actually the, the gecko. Well, let me get my TiVo set up here. Sweetie, oh. if you asked me to describe an egg, I could tell you that it's hard, brown, uh. and comes out the back of a chicken. Your mouth moves or way too much for what you're saying. It's light and fluffy. An absolutely delicious serve with toast. You got some facts yeah, wrong in both of those. But only one would be helpful if you were planning a menu. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Good point. See, Investigation over. She didn't important. make it as an IHOP waitress. <laughs> Are you Once trying to seduce me again, here in the police then station? Maybe I'll be able to help you. Um. How do you reply a bunch of question marks for all the choices? <laughs> All right, then that's what you'll get. What do you want to know? How did this series go on for so long? <laughs> Why were you drawn with a crayon? Do you drive a car? Ted is a didn't you kill a guy at a bar He's extremely <laughs> dangerous. He's a cold-blooded killer, but he can be very charming. Is that, is that charming? He's a really great guy once you get marriage, to know him. But nobody believed me. <laughs> he's crazy. Wait, wait, so he's a great guy. Oh. I'm sorry, according to part three of the psychological assessment, he is not crazy. <laughs> I did one call thing the police, I get out but of he this. Has friends the there. proofs in Only the... Only one officer came. They had words. They laughed, and he left. Ted beat me and said if I ever called the police again, he'd kill me. Or that blow himself up. That doesn't seem like the Ted I know. Head. In fact, didn't Ted dress up like you in a dream sequence while talking to me? Before he beat me, he would always say such large words. Clink at a fundraising dinner for the fascist party. The fascist party? Seriously? Ted was so convivial. <laughs> we had an open relationship. <laughs> he was fine with me dating a member of the fascist party. Yes, the poor dear accused his predecessor of inspiring sedation rather than sedition. I had to laugh. Why? It wasn't funny. He likes to use big words, but you know, he never finished high school. <laughs> Much like the person who wrote this game. By the way, it is impossible to not finish what high school and write a better game than this. Well, he never finished high school because of all the bomb threats. Oh, that, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's the drug, Paxwick. I forgot about all this crap. So what's your point? Paxwick? I think all the voice actors need Paxil. I wish I could ask the guy who wrote this whole series about that. What's Ralph your point? Never bored me with talk about business. 
Rolf Whenever the Muppet? He was with me, he focused on my interests in order to satisfy his interests, if you know what I mean. I, I don't. But look, Whoa. I'm scared to death. Ted is going to escape again, and the next dead person is going to be me. I mean, have you seen him parkour? Please, I'm begging Just you. negotiate I with him. You can get him to action. jump out a window. It's really weird. <laughs> Let's see here. Do you think Ted's a murderer? Obviously. Because of the bomb strap thing, maybe? I don't know. But banging a woman over the head with a tire iron is certainly in character. Classic Ted. Mean-spirited, violent, and anti-feministic. I don't think anti-feministic's a word either, by the way, but whatever. <laughs> I'll go with option one, the paragraph option. <laughs> he couldn't have killed somebody who ordered a pizza. No way of faking that. On the SATs, they teach you long answers tend to be the right ones. <laughs> Rock-solid alibi that Domino's provides. Come on, you can do it. Connect the dots. <laughs> Unlike the person who drew you, he can't do that. Um... Huh, well, as a matter of fact, there are moose in this town. Oh, good comeback. You're the better private detective than yeah, me. Great. You're under arrest for that. That's a lot <laughs> of crap. Just the other day, I... What? Somebody said oh. something about... I thought the Ambition Series just petered off there. I have nothing further to say. I want to leave now unless I'm under arrest. I'm afraid your moose contradiction, uh... lets me know that you're lying. My heart's under arrest after experiencing your charm, miss. Uh, he and Bridget. Oh, was he the he narwhal guy? It, okay, we lost. Escape because he was hmm. allowed to escape. This time, though, we're allowed to go to our last correct decision, which ends up being halfway through, no matter what you ask. I actually played this one. Okay. How did Ted escape again? He just left the vehicle when it stopped. Remember the the cop was coming in and he hit the cop. Oh and ran yeah, and yeah, did yeah, the yeah. Away yeah. Oh, because he was not a happy camper, a right? Yeah, the exactly. The tire iron is certainly in character. He's mean spirited, violent, and anti feministic. But he is charming. Anti-feministic, the new scent from Ted. Because it was written all over the papers, that's how. Besides, oh. I was... I was with someone at the time of the murder. Your what? boyfriend? What a tryst! <laughs> I'm afraid I can't say at the moment. It's not a liaison. You know, you're, you're being to... interrogated for murder. <laughs> this is maybe the time to complain with stuff? I'm not a lawyer, but... <laughs> I will produce my alibi if I need it. Otherwise, period. I have nothing okay. further to say. Let me just sit down before completing that sentence. Unless I'm under arrest. I think you're alive. Whoa. Oh. You just don't get it, do you? Ted escaped because he was allowed to escape. Because the writers oh, are that bad. Connect the dots. Could there be a giant conspiracy theory that would force a guy to put a bomb on himself, jump out a window, land in a mattress truck, hitchhike with the very people that's conspiring against him, and then land up in a psychological assessment where it turned out he's actually sane and maybe under this drug Paxwick, which is a drug made for producing perfect know soldier? About any of I that. think not. Besides, that's I how was, you connect the dots? I, was with someone at I think if these people could connect the dots better, the drawing would be a lot better. <laughs> Who are you with? Uh, huh, well, as a matter of fact, there are moose in this town. Is it you when you turn in that quarter way like that? Cause... I don't know. I have nothing further to say. I want to leave now unless I'm under arrest. Well, if you say so. That's how the cops work. Let her leave. Sure. Easy. We're good. Oh, well. You just don't get it. We got replaced with our uh, Crabtree's nephew. It's so on, cool how all interrogators have that back to the last correct answer option. Speaking of connected dots, I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I saw this illustration somewhere in a children's Obviously, book. Obviously, I didn't see him. Only before. colored much better. But banging a woman over the <laughs> by children's book, I mean a book drawn by children. He's mean spirited, yes, yes, yes. anti feministic. Right. And that's why I married him. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Giant paragraphs the answer. Or not. Okay. Because it was written all over the papers, that's how. Besides, I was, this? I was with someone at the time of the murder. I don't know, but that's really boring if so. Who were you with? I am the greatest interrogator. I'm afraid I can't say at the moment. It's not a liaison I wish to I'll just advertise. turn my head a little. You know what I mean. I advertise all my liaisons in the paper. Could you stop blinking at me? Do you have something in your eye? Oh, what the fuck? As a matter of fact, there are moose in this town. <laughs> Let's talk about the more mm. interesting topic. Wait, are we in a loop? <laughs> <But look, laughs> there are moose in this town. To You're under arrest. Escape again. There are moose in this town. I give up. It's going to be me. <laughs> you got me. Please, I'm begging you. I need police protection. Against uh, moose? Yes. 
Do you believe your husband's a murderer? Well... Well? Okay, I'll ask that. Obviously, I didn't see him do it. But banging a woman over the head with a tire uh, iron... We know, lady. Okay. This is the he longest, weirdest interrogation I've ever been on. You murdered the murder genre. <laughs> You've murdered my interest in this whole case. <laughs> Not guilty. Because it was written all over the papers, that's how. You just don't get it, do you? Ted Here's what I look like if I were shaped like a bottle. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Connect the dots. All right. Um, I'll connect the dots here. Z, Z, Z. Just a bunch of Z's. I didn't see you do it. <laughs> Banging a woman over the head. Oh, no, that was me. I'm sorry. Oh. Certainly in character. He's mean-spirited, violent, and anti-feminist. How do you part your hair like that, by the way? By being feministic. All right, listen, the experience well, car, blah, blah, blah. Maybe he didn't steal the car. Maybe he just stole the tire iron. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Didn't you say Wait, the car where are you going? Outside his apartment? We're pacing around her. So he ate his Now we're smelling her perfume. Apartment at, let's say, 1130. Okay. It's I'm like a stuttering Matrix cinematography. First car he saw, it's like she's the detective. To be a Please don't give me a massage. And went down oh. to the lake, where he ran into that woman. I'll sit back down again. Okay. Oh, sorry, my, my question screen's coming up. Oh. <laughs> this is like the shitty version of Ari from Heavy Rain. Right. Because you just told me. Uh, I didn't tell you that, and this conversation's being recorded. Then I must have read it somewhere, or heard it on the news. I'm sorry, lady, we hid that from the media. That's and that's one effective tactic police use. And you scream dead to rights. <laughs> All right, yeah, I parked it outside his apartment. So what? How was I to know he stole it? I thought it was his. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Ah. Uh, lady who I was at the dinner. You know, and went out for a smoke. Yeah, I, I was walking up the lake road when I saw this red car the coming one Helen straight was driving? at me, mm -hmm. trying to kill me. Oh my god, what a tangled web. Did it kill you more than that guy's joke at the beginning? This woman with short red hair was driving. No. She was hysterical. She <laughs> jumps Helen, out of really? the car and starts walking ahead of me up the lake road. The next thing I Stop see Ted driving to her. That black make her dude in another car. The black dude gets out, so, gets into the, way, the, the red car, the and then starts to trolling the for the red-haired woman. And even after you say his name, we'll never choose to say him. <laughs> By the way, can you explain trolling? Hmm. She crosses the road and starts walking. <laughs> never mind, I'm okay, He crosses over and, that's and starts what's driving is. real slow <laughs> beside her on the wrong side of the road. He leans his arm out, you know, and they're arguing. Post bad <laughs> things on internet forums about her? Define arguing. Ted jumped out of the silver Wait, car, <laughs> grabbed what? a tire iron. Did, did we just warp to another part of it? After the dude in the Maybe. red car screaming bloody murder. Was it Bloody Sunday the song? Anyway. Hmm. Explain bloody the murder. The last thing I saw was the woman gets into the red car and they speak. <laughs> Lady, are you listening to me? You're being interrogated. Stop iron. reading from your script and listen like to my I questions. Said, Is that supposed to be like your lip so gloss or you have herpes? Um... Where'd you go? Hey, you admitted oh, to grand theft. What I was doing was the stealing. grandest of all crimes. So I drove back to Ted's <laughs> and left it there in the alley and grabbed a cab back to the dinner. That's it. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, I've seen the black dude before. Yeah. He's operative for my boyfriend, Rolf. <gasps> Rolf! Did... Victory? <laughs> Please rate this episode. Okay. Um... <laughs> Well, actually, we have quite a few people who um, rated this episode for us. Mm -hmm. FYI, I give it. I also give it one red dot out of five. <laughs> yeah. Out of five red dots. Yeah. Is red dot really good or really bad? No, oh, it's awful. Oh, okay, just making sure. Um, I, I'll say one thing while I load up uh, the reviews in the background here. Um, right. I know this is kind of uh, you know one of the lulls. In the Ambition series, but it, 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 it's building to something. One of the LOLs, you mean? Oh, good God. Right? I guess so. <laughs> Full of... No. Anyway. No. Um, okay. Let's, just... let's look at some of the comments here, right? Uh, it was a daily fifth place when it came out in 2004. Are you fucking serious? How? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is 
Ridiculous. Four out of five stars? Well, at least, it... least Poe Poor 100 sums it all up. This was awful. <laughs> Zero like... stars. That was five days ago, too. Yeah. Um... <laughs> From September uh, 27, 2012 on the first page. Mm-hmm. The correct answers are the ones that make the e last amount of sense. People found that helpful. Pretty, Four good, out pretty of good game. Pretty good game, though. Four out of five, though. Like, the correct answers make no sense. <laughs> pretty good, though. I'm down. Then Ranger 2 posted a complete walkthrough of this game. I see that, yes. Bridget has some strange words. Disparosity? Intelligosity? Are those even words? No, they're actually not. No. <laughs> also <laughs> helpful. Okay. But the one under that, Jack Loves TNA right. from 2010, okay. Four and a half stars. Best game on Newgrounds. But... No, but this is the best <laughs> game on Newgrounds. It's four and a half. No <laughs> game on Newgrounds reserves five stars on Newgrounds. At least he probably has some semblance of taste then. <laughs> or this was his first time on Newgrounds. Either way. Do you want to keep going or do you want to um, just move on to part eight? Well, I'm looking at the first reviews now on page 72. Uh, Jerk Clock gave it a perfect score. This series kicks ass. So happy to have assisted in this movie's protection. <laughs> I mean, it does sound like you worked on it. <laughs> hey, we need the Secret Service to protect us while we make this game. <laughs> I like the one under it from Renegade Girl. <laughs> good, good. Flash is good. What? This game is so good, I tore out my H key and <laughs> ate it. it great. Even, if, even if it was spelled correctly, like, good. Flash is good. Four out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Our Mecha Blaze at the top here. While I suck at mystery games, the game was excellent, but I freaking sucked at mystery games. <laughs> Thanks for something. <laughs> On page 71, I'll, I like the style of review from uh, L. Darian. Okay. He's, he says, I love these games. Well done. <laughs> He was taking a deep breath before saying Yeah. That. Um, God almighty. Uh, Acrobatiques, right above that. Damn good. This game is damn good and addictive. Great plot and attention to detail in the story. Mm. However, the graphics are a bit on the shoddy size, and the mouth audio synchronization is off by a lot at times. <laughs> These are my only comments that are negative. At, besides at times? Game. I know. At all the times? <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Four out of five. Doomsday 616 on page 70 uh, gives it four and a half out of five. Excellent. I always enjoy your flash work. No exception here. Challenging without being frustrating. <laughs> like challenging? How? <laughs> My favorite is right below that. Caramel had dinosaur. Yeah, no, challenge. Caramel had dinosaur. Very cool. The drawings and animation are awesome. <laughs> but that's like the worst stuff. What are you talking about? Well, animation didn't really kick off until after 2004. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's just gone nowhere up until then. <laughs> um, okay. On page 69 at the top, X Wickenx 04. X Wickenx, I see. X Wickenx 04 says, can't play? It says I need a freaking membership, but hey, I thought this would be free! Wow. Zero out of five. I like White Lotus near the bottom. Good. I liked it so much, I am going to go get a haircut. Good, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Nice work all round. Four out of five. <laughs> this didn't remind you to go get a haircut? Okay. I guess not. And a spoon at the bottom of the page. Nostalgia, if that's how you spell it. Um, Jesus, man, this is going back to when I was a kid. I remember the l l lusty barl thigh. And the, susp <laughs> the suspicious cup episode's classic. It's been years since I've seen one of these back on the grounds. Yo. <laughs> Thanks, man. You brought back a lot of memories by submitting this. Makes me feel 14 again. Keep it up, man. Love them every time. Peace. How do you get nostalgia for fuck up bar fly? It was a simpler time back then. I see. Page 68, Power Man-X. 
gave it a perfect score and said, awesome job. This was good, but ah, oh, too much reading. I don't want to read, man. I just like clicking play, lay back, and watch a cool animation. <laughs> well, you, we were also at the wrong game. You, you should have narrated the reading parts, but oh well, other than that, great job. It's perfect. This is exactly the opposite of what he wanted, but still, five out of five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> FF Extreme right under that. <laughs> I can't do the thing, but you know. Sure. Would fine. you like to? Yeah. Uh, you, you go ahead. Give it your interpretation. Great work, Michael Gibson. <laughs> or Mel Gibson. Great work. Are you related to Mel Gibson in any way? If you are, probably not. I like Braveheart and the Passion. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> I better, I better pass Stop it ransom Ming my time away. <laughs> I'll pass this along to my friend Mel. My brother Mel. <laughs> Yo, dude, FF Extreme like the passion. Well, it was worth it then. <laughs> anyway, this game rocks freedom. Now that I saw it, kind of okay. Not what I thought. <laughs> he also spells Michael wrong, by the way. <laughs> God. But by the way, he gives it four and a half, which is probably why Mel Gibson never heard of it. Well, Bane never accepts anything's perfect. <laughs> he finds a flaw in everything. <laughs> no, they're, they're, <laughs> On page 67, uh, Leo Chaim gives it a four out of five. You have to think like a detective. Amusing. This was a witty flash. You had to think about what you say. I really Whoa. wanted to. I really wanted to rape her eyeballs when she wouldn't tell me stuff, but I kept with it. Rape part is not meant. What? What? I, I really wanted to rape her eyeballs. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, not not her eyeballs. That's anti-feministic. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, that was okay. Speaking, speaking of anti-feministic, Mister Bobo sixty four. Just two things wrong. It's a little too easy, and there is no damn it, woman, talk you bitch button. Other than that, I liked it. Three and a half out of five. And uh, people found that helpful. Very helpful. Yes, extremely. Good job. Great. Thank you. Thank you, humanity. <laughs> I like the top of 67. Uh, God, these people. Why? Pick a simple username, please. Uh, Huck Ed Unphonic yeah. Swark. Get it, yeah. Uh-huh. Close enough. Aha, uh-huh, it was the Lusty Barfly. She was in there. Great job with this game, though I found it a little frustrating at times. I would suggest shortening the intro, though. It takes about five minutes to get through all of it before you can do anything. I, I, actually, he yeah. found it a little frustrating at times. Yeah, frustrating, yeah. Right. <laughs> like how he just said it's the Lusty Barfly and then really emphasizing, yeah, yeah, it's her. <laughs> She's in there. I'm not kidding. Uh, I know my ambition, Canon guys. <laughs> Page sixty-six, the locking box says, "What the fuck?" <laughs> An operative. <laughs> another, another great piece from Michael Gibson. This is really freaky, and I was convinced that Bridget had a part in the murder. <laughs> the plot thickens significantly by the end of this part. Good work, Mike. Mm. They're on a first name basis. <laughs> it's his best mm. friend. Great flash again, Michael. <laughs> uh, I I think it's about time to um, move on to the yeah. ambition part eight. What do you think? I think so. Alrighty. All right. See you next part, folks.